Oyez! Now opens the court of King Christoph and Queen Adelheid, rightful monarchs of Atlantia. Thank y'all for such a wonderful day of doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> get those days where we can just Sit. kick back, do nothing, and enjoy the atmosphere. So really, from the bottom of my heart, we really appreciate the vibe of this court. And what also what was wonderful is the young people who participated today was incredible. Please, please, let's keep up that good work, because that's fantastic to see. Their Majesties would have before them Lord Alan McFarland. Lord Alan, I believe that your guild has presented His Majesty and I with your charter. And we have accepted the charter that you have proposed to us and would hope today that you would be able to sign this charter. This is for the Alchemist Charter. They have promised that they are working on gold from lead. We believe everything we have said. We welcome this. It will bring much riches to the coffers of this great king. They took, they took the time to work through developing their guild charter, making a worthwhile group of individuals who really want to make a cohesive statement about this activity and really bring it forth for the community. And thank you so much because this this looks great and I appreciate the extra work that I asked you to put into it. I know I know I came back and said one more time. But this is this is fantastic. So while we do not have our pin on us, his majesty and I will sign it after. We'll sign we'll it sign after. It we will sign oh, it after. Oh, there we go. You want us to sign with that? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, use a, let's use a calligrapher's pen so we, we don't want to ruin the beautiful work. Have you discovered what happens when you make, mix chocolate and peanut butter together? <laughs> <laughs> Makes me pretty happy, that's for sure. I, his majesty and I, this is our second guild that we have had the love uh, ability to charter and say go forth and do great things and I know that that is exactly what you're going to do so I cannot wait to see where you go from here. We have some things that we would like to give your analysis on behalf of the guild. Well thank you. So we'll start with you. Um, this is a Chinese herbal liniment. It's really good for bruises. It's what we use in Kung Fu. Are you, are you indicating that His Majesty could possibly get a bruise yeah. during fighting? <laughs> Just to my ego. <laughs> <laughs> that bruises a lot when I fight a lot of the great fighters here. I've seen him take a hematoma out of a football player's leg in about four days. Wow. That's incredible. And I've used it myself. Is this some of the stuff that y'all are doing in the guild? Sure. Chinese oh. medicine. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, That's I'm, amazing. Uh, I've been practicing Kung Fu since I was like 18. Awesome. So I use it a lot. It's incredible. Um, and for... I know exactly what this is. Oh, this is amazing. I, I, I'm not going to be able to speak intelligently to this, but this, if I remember correctly, this can start a fire, yep. right? So this is a, would you mind just speaking on what this is? Sure. Or? It's, it's like the one I'm wearing. It's a quartz ball. Mm -hmm. It would have been used to start fires going all the way back to even Greek times, Roman times, the Franks, the Huns, Adam. They had them, you know, all the way throughout medieval history. The Romans were even known to use these to cauterize wounds. That's what I was remembering. Um, which I couldn't imagine how excruciating that would be. <laughs> not much fun, but... That was my favorite piece of trivia that I had forgotten until you just reminded me right then. Thank you so much for that. That's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations again, and once this is over, we'll sign it. But thank you, and I cannot wait to see what you do. Thank you so much. For Lord Allen and the Alchemist Guild. Beyond! 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 Your Majesties now invite their Excellencies to hold the court. Thank you. We appreciate that. Welcome, everyone, to Sacred Stone. You all had a good time today? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> we certainly enjoyed ourselves immensely. This is something that's been for us. See all of the Bardic 
activities has been outstanding. And hope to see this event happen again. In, in.
Highlights here from the Outlands. But you need to begin this year. Anyway, the, our loss is their game, and we know that you will have uh, plenty of admirers when you go to your new kingdom. Um, I've already given you our gift, but I wanted to share what you got. So, um, just wanted to make sure everybody knew that you were leaving and had a last chance to say goodbye. With that, please rise and she is all matter of great. She bailed us out on so many things when we first started and was just always there for us. I say we go to war without me. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. I have something for you too. Though you may no longer be a lady, you should always have a consistent way to do it. For Lady Fewin, leaving but not forgotten.
May they visit us again many times. Viva! 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 How do I help? 
I, as a pelican, will immediately perk my ears up and tend to focus on them. Because that means that person is eager, ready, and wanting to grow and develop not only themselves, but enrich the rest of the organization. They're asking to give themselves back to us. And you have done that multiple times. You have helped set up list fields. I've watched you tear down list fields. I have seen you set up feasts. I've seen you serve feasts. I have seen you put up tents for individuals. You have helped um, prepare halls. I have watched as you have helped autocrats one by one, MICs one by one, and just be here for the populace as a whole. And it's time that we recognize that. So today, His Majesty and I would like to bestow to you an opal for all of your hard work and effort that you have put in to this organization and us as well. Thank you. Shine the light of honor on the good deeds of our worthy subject, Carl Holm. We, King Christoph and Queen Adelheit, monarchs of Atlantia, hold up this good gentle to all who hear these words. For great feats of labor has he accomplished. Such work demands recognition. Thus do we induct him into our order of the opal. Let this not be the last time you come before us worthy of high praise. <coughs> Done this 29th day of June, Anna Societatis 59, at our Bardic Madness. This is a story too. Me and this man went to high school together. <laughs> lost track of each other until a friend of ours' 40th birthday. And we went to that 40th birthday party and we talked about this organization and how fun it was. And I, I, I don't know how we got him intrigued, but he showed up and from that day forward as worked and worked and worked and gave back. There's nothing more noble than giving of yourself to others. And we do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. For Lord Carl, newest member of the Order of the Opal. Yeah. Yeah. was infectious. It made me say, uh, it made me have a good time. I'm also appreciative of your Batman utility belt. That you <laughs> it is very important. Uh, there is an award that we give to youngsters. It's called the Alcyon. It's uh, since 2006. I think you will be the 18th youth who ever got this award. So I want to say congratulations for being in the top 20. <laughs> Thank you so much for having a good time and teaching us what it's like to bark. Thank you so much. Yep. Can you fix that? There we go. Congratulations. Congratulations, Thank you very much. Well, thank you. <laughs> for Artur Madsen, newest member of the Order of the Alcyon. Viva! 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 Majesties would now have before them Glee Huntsman. Which you look very suspicious. <laughs> I appreciate your suspicion. <laughs> I too often wonder why are they calling me up here? They have something planned. And we do. So, yeah, I think so. I, sure, at least I'm, I do. I'm down for this, whatever happens. <laughs> <laughs> I want to first, as an autocrat, say thank you for reaching out to me and other autocrats to want to help with activities, specifically youth activities for WOW. Thank you for that. It is something that we 
we all as autocrats want are people who are excited and encouraged and interested in doing activities at our event. It makes our life easier because you're helping us build a greater community by offering activities for individuals. So thank you, first off. And then secondly, as queen, I have to say thank you for going out of your way to help with our youth activities and wanting to invite them into our lives and make their day just as special as the rest of our day. That's really important as well. But further, I have to also say that you have been involving yourself in dance and that you have also been very active, so much in fact, that you won an ANS competition at Ymir this past year as well. So it's time that we recognize the activities and the involvement that you've done for this organization and what you're doing and the next steps that's to come. So today, His Majesty and I would like to raise you to the ranks of nobility and award you your AOA. As in accord with our will, we Adelheit, Queen of Atlantia and Patrons of the Arts, and Christoph, Sovereign King of these lands, are minded to make Glee Huntsman Give Glee Huntsman an award of arms and acknowledge it for commendable achievements in the art of diverse arts and her willingness to share such skill. She shall have the sole and exclusive right to bear arms as soon as she has chosen that blazon without hindrance from any person who is in accord with our traditions. Given by our hands this 29th day of June, Anna Society taught us 59 at our inaugural Atlantia Bardic Madness in the Barony of Sacred Stone. The illumination and calligraphy was by Mistress Adair. The line art was by Isabel Bedingfield in the Kingdom of Meridius. Beautiful. And, and the words you said was no problem when we talk about your health. That type of attitude is, is, is incredible because it might not be, a, it's no problem that you do it with such joy. And that is one of the most incredible things about this organization and our friends that we have here is everyone gives, and it's no problem to give. And thank you so much for your gifts that you give to the youth. Thank you. Thank you. For Lady Lee Huntsman, newest member of the nobility. Viva! 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 Majesties would now have before them Lady Elizabeth Despaldi. They would also see Lord Simon Despaldi.
for me anyways, because I'm not a music person, but I can, I can feel the energy that you have for the love of, of music. And today, I'm sorry. We're talking decades yes. of dedication, of love for the game, of service, support to multiple people, multiple crowns. crowns there is no telling how many newcomers have been impressed by y'all and to this day can think that they're still here because y'all are nice enough to reach out and show them a little For something. For him, it's like a generation. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, that was like she a... She just told you under the bus. It's gobbled by the dragon. That's okay. So, so today, His Majesty and I, and, and, and I, I'm specifying it as today because he did, we sat down and we, we talked today and we said, it's the first time in many time days we've talked. So. Yeah, we don't talk. <laughs> so y'all are all us together. Yeah, together. No, we, we talked today because we couldn't go on without taking a step forward for you and recognizing you for what you've done for this organization. And there's this award that we, as Crown, are able to bestow on a whim. And though this is unexpected, I think that this is something that's long overdue and it's, it's a good representation of where you're headed in the future, I think, too, Your Majesty. So on this day, we would be honored if you would allow us to make you barons of our court. <laughs> Some great act that they do, 
And sometimes it's someone who people have come up to me and said, wow, did you see that this happened today? Uh, today, it was an individual who I watched walk around from classroom to classroom, if they weren't teaching, who I watched watch almost every single performance out here, who was a cheerleader. I watched this person dance terribly to a lot of songs. <laughs> um, I watched this person <coughs> give back by ensuring everyone here was having a good time and making sure that they knew that they were loved being watched and that their performance meant something to them. Even if it was just that one person watching them, at least she thought that performance was amazing. And that's inspirational to me because she was giving her heart out every time someone was up here. So would Lady Signe please join me? Yeah. 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 Yeah.